is 14 April, approximately 9.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Reporting from the desert southwest, this is Warning 616, a.k.a. Two Wolves. Tonight, I've got a tall, narrow video because it's a tall, narrow subject. Joshua trees in blue. That's a Joshua tree, of course. But look, it's in bloom. A great rarity. Not a Western has ever probably been made that didn't feature this member of the Yucca family. There's even a song called The Joshua Tree, and I believe there's a movie by that name. Article by Brett Predeman for the Salt Lake Tribune. Last updated yesterday. And Ron Olroyd is a photographer. He's got lots of fantastic shots in this attached to the article. I'll read the Caption first, in what biologists are calling a rare event, Joshua trees all over the west, including the southwest of Ivans in Utah, are blooming this spring. Biologists say just about every tree is blooming this year, when usually far fewer do. A unique plant named by Mormon pioneers and found only in a limited range of southwestern Utah, as well as California, Nevada, and Arizona, has had a boom year for blossoms. Joshua trees, part of the Yucca family, are long-lived and rarely bloom, but reports this spring are of a blossom boom across the Mojave Southwest. Ron Allroyd has lots of um, Allroyd, excuse me, has quite a gallery of photos here. I won't linger because they are his, not mine, but come and watch. Have a look at his beautiful pictures. Washington County resident Ron Allroyd, the photographer, made a trip along Old Highway 91 west of St. George, Utah in late March and was rewarded with a visual feast of the blossoms in the Beaver Dam Mountains. You better get down there fast, Allroyd said. It won't last long. In fact, the rare occurrence has most likely already peaked. This is a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon, Cameron Barrows, a research ecologist with the University of California, Riverside, told the Riverside Press Express. Theories for the mass and blooming include late summer storms in 2012, two years of drought, and stress due to global climate change. Here's a video. Come have a look. Press play. Tony Freights, conservation co-chairman of the Utah Native Plant Society, said the blooming around the Joshua Tree National Landmark in Washington County, Utah, near the Arizona border, likely started around March 1, so they may now be nearing end of their bloom cycle or could even be past it at this point. Joshua trees of up to an estimated 1,000 years old have been found in California and are also unique in that moths are their main pollinators. Yucca brevifolia. Let's try that again. Yucca brevifolia. Brevifolia, the scientific name, earned the common name Joshua tree, as the story goes, when Mormon pioneers crossed the Mojave Desert sometime in the mid 1800s. Or perhaps when they encountered them in southern Utah near St. George. Apparently, the trees reminded the pioneers of Joshua from the Bible, reaching his hands to the sky while praying. Now we can come here. Huffington Post, as do I, feels this is a story well worth covering. Joshua trees in rare bloom, possibly in an attempt to survive climate change. Here's the take by the Huff Post. Yesterday's story went updated tonight, and they have included what looks like a really good video. It is a really good video. Press play. Something mysterious is happening in the Mojave Desert's Joshua Tree National Park. The reason may be grim, but the effect is beautiful. It's more than interesting. It's probably am unprecedented in anybody's recent memory anyway, Cameron Barrows, a research ecologist at the University of California, Riverside, told ABC. The same was reiterating. Well, locals say that the blooms are larger than they've ever seen. I don't know what happened this year, but it's been an incredible display, Virginia Willis, a 15-year resident, told ABC. It doesn't make any sense, but I guess nature is that way. We don't have it all figured out.
yet. Of course, as an aside, being wolves, I do have to make an aside. Aside, we are going to hope this is not the result of radiation. As we know, there's a number of plants, some of them somewhat related to yucca, which are reactive to radiation and which then grow much larger than they normally would. So I hope that's not the cause. Some biologists think the blooms are a stress response by the trees to climate change, specifically to much less rain. Joshua Tree National Park typically National Park, excuse me, typically receives between two to five inches of rain a year, but this year only received seven tenths of an inch, the Los Angeles Times reports. The theory is that the trees are producing more flowers and thus more seeds in an effort to survive with less rain. And locals hope it works because right now the iconic trees are in decline. We haven't had a new young Joshua tree emerge on our Wickenburg study site in almost 30 years, and there have been a number of trees that have died, desert ecologist Jim Cornett told USA Today. They're just not getting the kind of environmental conditions that they require to survive. Some organisms, of course, will do that. They will produce more flowers, more plants, when they feel that they are about to become extinct. Scientists are working to involve citizen scientists in an effort to monitor the impacts of climate change on the trees. In the meantime, the unprecedented blossoms are worth a visit to the desert. Park officials expect the bloom to last another two to three weeks. Well, I think I'll try to go have a look once in a lifetime. We talk we awesome, we are all related. Whatever the cause, it's beautiful at this point, and this is Two Wolves Out.